Welcome to the Neo News Today podcast. I'm your host, Dylan, of Neo News Today. In episode 37 of the NNT pod, I had a chance to sit down and speak with Peter Lin, the founder and maintainer of Alienworks, a developer community in the Neo blockchain ecosystem. This conversation was one I was interested in having because Peter has been in the ecosystem since 2016 when Neo was formerly known as AntShares. Peter also brings with him the perspective of both being an employee with Neo Global Development and the founder of a developer community that creates tools and tutorials for Neo, both of which we had the chance to delve into. So I hope you enjoy listening to this conversation as much as I enjoyed having it. Hey guys, what's going on? Dylan with the Neo News Today podcast. Today we are sitting down with Peter Lin, the founder of Alienworks, and I'm speaking with him right now. To dive right in, Peter, can you tell us a little bit about what Alienworks is and why you founded the developer community? Okay, so uh, at the very beginning, uh, when I launched uh, Alienworks community, I, I think... Uh, we can use this uh, new method to like help people to write smart contracts to you know let more people to know about cryptos. So at the you know at first uh, we develop some uh, monitors and uh, it can help people to know about new new state you know and the new node status. And then we develop an interactive tutorial to help people to uh, write smart contract and to learn how to, uh, you know, implement things on blockchain. So our uh, initiative is help more people to know about blockchains and know about new. So. Before you founded Alienworks, which helps people follow the nodes in the network and offers a wide variety of tutorials, you were the director of research and development at Neo Global Development in Shanghai. So what did you mostly work on when you were officially working with Neo? Uh, I mostly uh, work on the, you know, the quality of the Neo network, you know, uh, New is not very stable at that time because you know it's bull market and the transaction is like a lot, you know. So uh, at that time there is no such um, test framework and no, uh, you know, uh, no such uh, or re regulations mm -hmm. or uh, you know to help people to. To, to help developer to uh, test about Neo. So at that time, I, I, I was focusing on, you know, uh, develop this uh, testing framework and uh, all the regulations in, 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 in NGD Shanghai. And how long were you with NGD Shanghai? Uh, I joined Neo in 2016 and uh, I was, uh, I was, you know, become the director like uh, in 2017. So, uh, you know, uh, it means I am like uh, being a director for a year. Yeah. Okay. So you were with Neo when it was AntShares. Yes. Were you part of the, the major rebranding process? Yeah. Cool. Um, so there are a wide variety of communities in the Neo ecosystem that are working on uh, various tooling products, but none of the communities, as far as I'm concerned, have the experience of working inside Neo Global Development uh, like you did and or haven't even been in the ecosystem since 2016. So when you left NGD as the director of research and development, maybe you can kind of share with us your story or your inspiration uh, for what led you to found Alienworks. Okay, uh, actually, I founded Alienworks at uh, 2017 uh, because at that time, I think a uh, community is like a very good way to help new to develop. You know. Uh, 
as you you may know, uh, DAO, right? D A O DAO.、Mm-hmm. So I, I I think uh, uh, you know, blockchain is kind of to to reorganize the uh this uh work, work relationship thing, you know. So I think community might be a、uh, something new to organize people to do something to you know pursue some uh. Target uh, and uh, you know to it, it's di- it's quite different from you work in a company, so that's why、uh, I think this is something that、uh, attracts me a lot. You know. So before we we go into sort of some of the projects that you're working on,、um, I noticed that. When we at Neo News Today first covered Alien Works、uh, officially, which was after the the Neo Community Assembly last year in Shanghai,、um, one of the topics that we we breached upon what Alien Works does was research. And so I'm wondering if maybe you could tell us a little bit about what research you've done or any research Alien Works is doing.、Um, maybe if this is、uh, something that's of priority right now. Uh, okay, so、uh, for research,、uh, we do have、uh, some re- research topic、uh, last year, but、uh, this year、uh, we will more focus on the products we are working on. You know, because research、uh, does cost a lot of time, and、uh, you you cannot you know give people some results、uh, after like three four months result. It, it's really hard, and also you know. Uh, when you do some research, it it need very different kind of people. So in Shanghai right now,、uh, in Alien Works, we have some you know very senior developers. But if we want to do some research, we need some、uh, people with、uh, you know with with gift mind. You know that that is、uh, quite different. Also,、uh, you know. Research costs a lot of money, and、uh, it can give you very few results.、Mm. So I don't think it's a good policy for Alien Works right now. So、uh, we we just drop it and we focus on products. You know, products.、Uh, it's it's not easy, but、uh, it's productive. You know, when we do something, and people can see what we have done, and、uh, it can help people to. You know, achieve something. So,、uh, developing these products and tools、uh, is a good policy for us right now.、Uh, and research,、uh, we, we still, you know,、uh, are interested in a lot of research topics like zero knowledge, like、uh, you know,、uh, different kind of、uh, think、uh, process for new. But、uh, yeah, but we 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 just drop it right now. Cool. Well, you brought up products, so let's jump into a few of the products that Alien Works is working on.、Um, one of the first ones I want to talk about is、uh, a network monitoring system called Neo Nodes, and you touched upon this earlier in our conversation. So,、yeah. um, what's the purpose of Neo Nodes, and why did Alien Works develop a monitor? Okay. So at the very beginning,、uh, we developed new state.、Um, this is、uh, like a very heavy, powerful、uh, monitor, and、uh, it's developed in the hackathon in London. You know, at that time,、uh, we really need a monitor to help us to know ab- more about the new network. So at that time,、uh, we design、uh, this new state, and、uh, it's integrated with new node. At that time, we call it New Client, and right now it's renamed as a New Node. So、uh, it can monitor a lot of things, like you can monitor all nodes, no matter、uh, this nodes with P2P function or nodes with API function. And also, it, it can monitor smart contracts、uh, state. It's it's very powerful. It somehow it looks like an explorer, but the difference is it's more focused on the statistics. You know. So, new state has some pros and it also has some cons. You know,、uh, it's a very heavy monitor, so it means it highly relies on the stability of new node. If something, you know, something、uh, 
goes wrong with new network, new node will probably have some issues, which means new state will like, you know, goes wrong. Mm -hmm. So that that's really embarrassing because uh, when the network has something wrong, you need to check with the status of the nodes, but your monitor is relies on this node. So it's like a paradox. So it's quite embarrassing. Th that's why we need to develop another monitor to help us to handle this emergency, you know. That's why we develop new nodes. So for uh, the objective of new nodes is to provide with necessary information when there is a net new network emergency. So that's why we, we design it uh, like first uh, lightweighted, you know, it relies on nothing but itself. So anything goes wrong. It doesn't influence new nodes. Secondly, it's easy to maintain. For, for instance, if there is something wrong uh, in your network and you have to you know, monitor something new, uh, you need to do a hotfix. So at that time, uh, we, we just do a hotfix like in 15 minutes and uh, get this new version online in another 15 minutes. It means it will only cost you like 30 minutes to get a new version of new nodes to online, you know, to help you to solve this uh, network problem. So that's why we design new nodes. So does, so when you say that the Alienworks has developed two monitors, does that mean that NeoNodes is one monitor and then following uh, NeoCly serves as another monitor? Oh, no, no, no. It, it's quite uh, independent. New state uh, is like a heavy and powerful monitor, but it relies on new node. So it means when the network has something wrong, uh, new new state is quite influenced by by this. Mm. So that that's that's why we use uh, new nodes instead. You know, new new nodes is lightweighted and relies on nothing. So it's um, it's quite independent thing. Gotcha. So the podcast is going to be airing on Monday, August 10th, 2020. Are there going to be any uh, major updates to Neo nodes? And um, if there are, what will that include? Yeah, uh, I think so. Uh, at that time, uh, I think we will launch a new version of Neo nodes. The front end will, uh, is you know, totally refactored. So, uh, and also we add some new feature called uh, API metrics. It's something uh, new. Uh, I can introduce a little bit about this feature. So, you know, new new node is uh, is not a independent system. It's a system integrated with plugin system. So you can imagine this uh, new node as a black box. But this black box has two parts. One part is itself. The other part is plugin. So when you treat it as a, a, a black box, you, you get uh, information from this black box. But, you know, uh, firstly, if, if you want to guarantee that everything uh, goes right uh, of this black box, you just, you know, do a lot of unit tests and integration tests about the new node itself and the plugins. However, Sometimes uh, it also, you know, involves with people's people's uh, people's behaviors. Uh, I mean, people's behaviors can influence the result of this black box. So that is some something really really tricky. You know, uh, at first I, I met this problem is uh, you know I, I'm in charge with uh, integrating you with. Uh, all this exchange, you know, when exchange enlist uh, new, they will maintain a new node, right? Mm -hmm. So when they maintain this new node, uh, they they check the documentation that we, we wrote before and uh, they do accordingly, right? However, it needs some skills. So if a developer or maintainer is not too familiar with new, they're 
their maintenance is not so good. So sometimes uh, their behavior just uh, you know cause some problems. But you, you just can't say uh, it's uh, whose problem, you know. Uh, the people, the developer from Exchange, they will say, hey, uh, it's Neil's problem. And we, we say, hey, uh, it's not our problem. We, we just tested it before, you know. But at, at, this, at this time, uh, it's really, you know, hard to communicate. It's really hard to tell uh, uh, what the problem is. So that's, that's uh, when uh, we are really frustrated. So that's why we want to develop this API metrics factor. Uh, when we have this factor, uh, we can validate all the API's information and we can like uh, we, we, we can we can say that uh, it's news problem or people's uh, you know people's problem. So it can help us, a lot to use, uh, it can help a lot of developers to use this uh, new API, you know. So this is something new, yeah. Awesome, so it sounds like one of the benefits for the API matrix is that it'll make it easier for exchanges to maintain Neo nodes. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Cool. Um, so that's some awesome work that Alienworks is doing on behalf of monitoring the network and also providing um, sort of API tools to help developers uh, maintain and manage Neo nodes. Another interesting project that the Alienworks team is working on is an interactive tutorial to help onboard new developers who want to build Neo based smart contracts. I've gone through um, a little bit of the information that you've released on GitHub, and it seems like you've sort of gamified the developer uh, tutorial experience. So can you share with us um, what this interactive tutorial is and what languages the tut tutorial is available for? Okay, so uh, we are inspired by the crypto zombies, you know, in... Uh in Ethereum, uh, there is a very famous uh, interactive tutorial called Crypto Zombies. So a lot of people, uh, they are very interested in Solidity. However, uh, they are not familiar with it. So they just, you know, go Crypto Zombies and learn how to write smart contracts uh, in Solidity. And a very, you know, very fun thing is uh, the crypto zombie is designed very, very, very good. So these people are attracted to this websites to learn how to write smart contracts. So that's uh, we are inspired. That's why we designed this uh, interactive tutorial to help people to learn about new and learn how to write smart contracts on new. So uh, this uh, tutorial cost us a lot of time and. Uh, According to the plan, it should be, you know, released uh, in like Q2. However, you know, uh, we are quite influenced by the coronavirus. So the plan is uh, quite delayed. And I think we can launch this uh, project in uh, Q3. And right now it's in beta tests. Uh, I think like in 10 days, we will release the first RC release. So... I think, yeah, maybe in the end of uh, uh, August, uh, I think people can try it uh, on online. And right now it's still, you know, uh, tested and uh, developing. Uh, a lot of new features are added in. You know, we have some feedback from the um, people who are testing it. So, yeah. I think it's something that, uh, you, you know, uh, can be looking forward to. Yeah, absolutely. And Neo is a, uh, as John Devidas calls it a polyglot platform. So the interactive tutorial is available for multiple languages. So what languages are you offering support for? Uh, C sharp, TypeScript, uh, and Python. Uh, but you know, there is, uh, something, 
something uh there are some issues about python so i think c sharp and type script first cool um we had a chance to hang out quite often last year in shanghai at the neo community assembly and there was a lot of topics of conversation um and today neo3 is a large topic of conversation so I'm wondering if the interactive tutorials or any of the work that you're doing might provide a, a little bit of insight or, or even some help in projects that are seeking to migrate from Neo2 to Neo3. Or I'm just curious to, to hear if you have any further insight or thoughts into uh, what migration might look like. Well, uh when we discussed Neo3 internally uh, last year, oh, no, 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 uh, two years before, then uh, migration is one big issue. You know, uh, we, 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 we don't know how to do it at that time. And uh, But we think migration is like the key of the this up, upgrade, you know, because there are a lot of data in Neo2 and uh, if you launch new three and people, you know, go go to new three and they, they just say nothing, you know, it, it's like severe problem. So, and also there are a lot of uh, applications running on new two. So, we are afraid of you know influence uh, these applications. However, uh, you know the bear market is like the hell. You know, it's burning all the the people who are develop this uh, dApp. So right now, I don't think there are uh, still a lot of uh, alive applications running on. So uh, I think migration is kind of easy right now. So I think this is the best timing to migrate. You know, mm -hmm. if, you don't, if you don't do it right now, uh, I don't know, maybe one year or two years later, uh, after things are getting more complicated so soph sophisticated uh it's you know you, you just can't do it so i think migration uh, right now is a good timing and uh, we, we really need to do this and for for us i think uh for example uh new state we uh this product has some uh functions to you know monitoring the the status and uh, the status of this uh, all these smart contracts. So uh, I think it can help a little bit to uh, for for these developers to migrate their applications, uh, uh, migrate their their, their D apps. Cool. Um, so wrapping up our conversation, um, I just wanted to. Um, to touch upon the fact that you're one of the longest running developers in the Neo ecosystem. You've been with, you've been developing in Neo since 2016. So I just want to hear your perspective about how Neo has progressed or evolved in the past four years that you've been working on the project. Okay. So, uh, you know, four years has passed. It's like very long time. You know, uh, crypto world is really different from the real world because uh, because of two things. You know, so the first thing is the exchange; they are running like 20, 24 seven. It you you don't rest. You know, I I, I worked in Huobi uh, at like twenty fourteen. I worked at the Huobi Exchange, you know. So at that time, uh, I think the, we, we, we work really, really hard. We, we we got woke up by the product manager, you know, they, they, they call us that, hi, uh, there is some issues. Please come to company to solve this. And uh, I, I'm just sleeping, you know. It's like uh, 12 o'clock uh, at night. And, and uh, I, I, I was just sleeping. And uh, so I, I just want to say that uh, the exchange is like the uh, engine to to uh, match all the resources, which means uh, 
you know, in crypto world, the this engine is like never sleep. So it means the resources matching process is like in a very very high uh, efficient way. You know, it's quite different from the stock market. You, you know, in America, stock market like uh, running I don't know nine nine hours. Uh, but it's not it's not twenty twenty four seven. You know, so this is the first thing. Uh, it's quite different. The second thing is everything in crypto world is open source. So which means something uh, came up with an idea and he he write it down uh, and she share in, in GitHub and other people can see it, which means there is no secret. So you have to work harder and harder to to it's like a running race, you know, it's like a running contest. You have to run. If you just walk, it's not enough. So in, in this world, uh, everything is changing very, very fast. So four years for a project is not a very short time. It's it's like eight years for a, a normal internet uh, project, you know. So uh, I'm really happy to say that New3 will be launched in this year, and uh, I think this might be uh, something that uh, we planned, you know, years before. However, uh, recently uh, I'm I'm am researching on Ethereum, and I see that uh, there are a lot of, you know, things are going on in Ethereum, and Ethereum still is like the biggest uh, community, biggest. Uh, it's like a leading train of this crypto world so there are a lot of new things happening on ethereum so i'm 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 still learning about these new things and i think for new uh yeah we we, we do like it and uh, we, we really hope it can be something but we still need to learn all these new things then we can you know improve new so for 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 me uh I think Neo has a good future, uh, but you know it it needs to be. Uh, it's not so easy, you know. We we have to work hard to to achieve this. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for dealing with the wide variety of technical issues we had today. It was awesome to be able to grab a little bit of your time. Um, it's, it's great to hear from somebody who's been building in the ecosystem for the past four years. And I'm really happy to hear that Alienworks is releasing some great new products um, in the coming quarter. So I just want to thank you for chatting with us today. Hi, yeah, great. Thanks, Dylan. Well, what did you think of that conversation? It was interesting to hear that Peter founded Alienworks in 2017, but focused his efforts on Neo network stabilization and other regulatory related tasks while working as the R&D director for Neo Global Development. I also found it thought provoking to learn a little bit more about how a developer community weighs the choices between performing research versus developing and delivering products. And if you're a developer and are listening to the Neo News Today podcast, please keep an eye open for the Alienworks tutorials, which will be released over the coming quarters. To keep up to date with the latest in the Neo ecosystem, visit www.neonewstoday.com. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to our channels on YouTube, Apple iTunes, and or Spotify. And leave a five-star review if you feel others should hear our content. Every subscription and review helps others learn more about the Neo News Today podcast, as well as the Neo ecosystem. So thank you so much for taking the time to listen to the Neo News Today podcast, and we look forward to catching you next time. <laughs>